Hi guys, Dean here from Travel Vids. I was just completing up a video edit for a video that we're going to be putting on Facebook soon and I thought this was a good, op a good opportunity to answer a question that we get all the time and that is how do I put this video in WhatsApp? How do I make it small enough to fit in WhatsApp? And I just wanted to show you while I'm in the exporting process of um, making this video, how I get it to WhatsApp so that I can also share it with my team to just make sure that everything's right. Let's just jump over to Final Cut here for a second. So this is my little video edit that I've got here. And when I export it, uh, at 1080 by 1080 because that's what I edited it in. It's a square video, like I said, for Facebook. It comes to about 240 megs, which is obviously way too big. So my suggestion is you push it to the smallest possible output that you can get, the smallest resolution. Uh, in this case, it's 480 by 480, which will be roughly 54 megs. Okay, so I've already exported that. And you can see here, I got a small version out, which is 45 megs. Now this is still slightly too big to send via WhatsApp, especially if you're making a video that you want to sort of share virally in WhatsApp on the on the offline web. You're gonna to wanna to bring that file size down even further. And as you can see here, I already got it down to 20. How did I do that? Um, very simple. I used a compressor. And if you type in, in Google, convert video for WhatsApp, that's all I did. You'll see there's a whole bunch of different tools here that you can use. They're online tools, they're free tools. I have been using this one lately. Uh, it's called webservice.online-convert.com. I'm in no ways affiliated with them or promoting them specifically. It's just literally what I've been using lately. And I just wanna show you how simple it is to use. You take the original file that you have, and this is my 40 meg file and you drop it in there and it's going to upload this and it'll take uh, 20 seconds and as soon as that's finished I'll just hit conversion, start conversion and it'll pretty much download. You do have the option to, to change the settings if you want to cut the, uh, take the audio out or change the, the output size uh, but generally from my experience if you just start the conversion where I can do now like this It'll, once it's finished processing, it'll automatically go to my downloads folder. Here it is. And once that's done, you'll end up with a file like that. And this video is now shareable in WhatsApp. Very simple to use. I will put the link to the converter that I've been using in the description below and um, yeah let me know if it's been working for you or let me know if there's a different one that you've been using that's better than this and yeah I'd be I'd be keen to know about that but this one definitely does the trick and it works so good luck uh, making small videos and sharing them in the messenger world cheers